Jody. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Oh, do I look sketchy? No, you don't. <laughs> we look like we should be working at a Howard Johnson though. <laughs> the two of us together. Like I should be scooping pointy ice cream, and you should be checking people into their um, uh, non-smoking double um, twin bed suites. The intuitive coach Jody Levon. We welcome the happy medium Jody Levon is with us. Hi, Jody. How Jody. are you? Hello. something going on and here we are filming this yeah. with career yeah. some changes going on with career yeah. and I feel very good about what's going on and I also feel like it's almost like a trap door opens up and boom you come out and there's something different that you get to get, do in a similar flavor but something different that you get to do that feels really good to you and you feel like you're home not that you weren't home but now you're really home are you feeling what she's what she's yes, saying here's here? the thing I wasn't I don't always but this is pretty okay I don't always buy this kind of stuff. <laughs> this is pretty head on. This is spot on. She has nurse energy. So that, to me, nurse energy means A, she was a nurse, or B, she was very caring. She was very, she, she looked after more than just her husband and her children. She looked after goats or any animals here and other people beyond her stream. And I feel like she might have been the woman that lived in this house. Like, so, Mrs. LaDuke. Mrs. LaDuke. She's an M, Mrs. LaDuke. So this room was the general and Mary's room. So William Mary, LaDuke. Mary, a new M. Yeah, so Mary, <laughs> Mary LaDuke and General William Gates LaDuke lived in this room. This was their bedroom. This was the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so was Mary more of a caretaker? But they did have a small farm. They did have goats and goats. chickens and ducks. I know, you're freaking me out over here. <laughs> I do feel like there's been a loss around you and this is one of the things that it could have been. Right? You're looking at your family. Is this true? <laughs> yes. What's true about what she's saying? A lot. A lot. He really wants you to know he's all right and that he's really not in any pain. I feel like that he wasn't. I know a, that. Right. I know that. Yeah. He wasn't. Was there, a, was there sort of a miscalculation on um, maybe not to blame anybody because it really wasn't to blame anybody, but there was a sort of a miscalculation initially about what was going on for him at a certain point? Right. And then you've kind of gone back and beat yourself up over that. Please please listen to me. I don't know you. We just came up here to do this. It happened the way that it was going to happen, and it's it's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. You were thinking that he was here with you. Oh, yeah. Right? You feel we him. We took him every year. This was actually, you caught us. This was his favorite thing to do. Can I ask who he is? Yep, my son Christopher Bierman. He died um, March 13th, 2015. Okay, thank you. Thank you. A lot of times we're surrounded by people who really don't have the best intentions. Um, what do you do with toxic people and how do you handle question. them? Well, the first thing is, is to know that they're on their own journey, so back away from judging them because they're on their own journey. We've all that's been there. That's a hard bit of business It can there, be really though, hard, but yeah. all you got to do is, so that's not me, and then you zip yourself. So literally, you feel yourself zip okay. yourself up so you don't pick up on any of it because it's when it, we pick up on it and it sort of seeps into us, that's when it bugs us, and that's when we're going to respond like, ugh, gross. And then somebody from Llewellyn saw that and said, can you write? And I can. <laughs> And I did, and I wrote my first in my series, The Happy Medium Books, and mm -hmm. then I came way out of the psychic closet. So intuition is really a tool to help you it is move a tool. forward. It's a language, and you can use it as a tool. You can go, it helps you shop, it helps you find love, helps you find doctors, but you don't just use intuition. You have to honestly follow your heart, trust your gut, and use your head. You gotta use your head also and your heart. When all three are in alignment, you're good to go. So everybody's got these beautiful energies around them that help guide them, and I'm talking to yours, but there is a man that's on the other side that rides the slide of love from heaven to talk to people that they love. This is your man. I feel like he's a dad or a grandfather. He also had facial hair. He was um, one of those people that could appeared sloppy on the outside sometimes, but had a very beautiful, pure heart. And I think there sometimes was some liquor involved in this too. And wow. he's meant a lot to you in your life. I just lost him. Oh, who yeah, is like that? a month ago. Who is that? My friend Steve. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's he who loves she's you. describing, Chris. Yeah. He's got the yeah. She. I mean, I didn't expect that. And he yeah, loves and I, you. 
I love him. Yeah, he's thanking you for what you've given him, and he says he's fine. He's in good health. Well, that's like the best news I could ever mm-hmm. get. So they're going to make me cry. I do feel like you have some around you that tries to talk to you. I feel like a grandmother is around you. Yeah. I feel like she's trying to give you her wisdom. Did she cook? What did she do? She had something sitting in front of her, and she's moving around like yeah. this. Like I'm, yeah, I'm, this time of the year, was uh, she'd make lefsa for all well, the that's that little flat. See, I'm Jewish, so I don't know what lefsa <laughs> is. Here we are at first. Avenue on First Avenue in Minneapolis. And the first thing you think about when you go to a place like First Avenue is music, right? Not spirits. But we're here to listen to the spirits today. What are some of the stories that your your um, employees have shared? And Jody, you said you were picking up I'm on something? I'm picking up chairs falling. I'm hearing the clanking of chairs. I've heard lots of, uh, there's one employee in particular who talks about, they call, he calls the ghost Flippy. And it's, it's when, um, You'll, they'll be around here, there'll be no one around, and for some reason, one of these stools or a chair will just fall for no reason. It is when you get home that you will let your hair down, so to speak, and you'll be silly with children, it looks like children, and you'll be let down with your husband, but it's more your children that will let you loose, especially a female energy. You will just be a kid, and you need that. That's your balance, because you keep it so together. Maybe even in your car you might scream, as a lot of us do, or sing loud to let loose, but you can do a lot of things at once. You're 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 going places. Oh my goodness, you are so right on. I this is incredible. And I feel like he was sweating. Like obviously he's next to the radiator, but he's 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 crazy. When Creepy was held here, outside was the largest, most horrible heat wave. St. Paul had experienced and has experienced to date. So, but what you could do is you could find out, I feel like it, there's some swelling. Mm-hmm. I just feel like there's That's some what swelling. It feels like, and the other thing is, is, and I'm not a medical intuitive, but I will say, almost see, now don't take this literally, mold. Yeah. Like something's just funny. Mm-hmm. We, our basement flooded this winter, and, our, and what they found when they took up everything was there's just, well, there was just mold oh, everywhere, oh behind the walls, gosh, behind yeah. underneath the carpet. Okay, what happened next is what Jody says uh, happens pretty often with reading. So she'll say something, and then the person getting the reading can't really pinpoint what she's talking about in that moment, but then they go home, and bam, it changes. So look at this. Who had the ear infections a lot? Was that in your family, your, like your siblings? I don't know. She's talking about something about the ear, an infection in the ear or some pain in the ear or even the eardrum. All right, Jess, what happened after the reading? Well, that night my husband sent me a text message with a picture of my son with fluid coming out of his no ear. Way. His eardrum had burst oh. and he had an ear infection that we never even knew about. Do you have a, a little girl yet? Um, I have triplet daughters. Oh. oh. <laughs> Give her some water. <laughs> and some wine. Some wine. <laughs> so two of those little girls are very much alike They're and then identical. the other one the other one is different, right? Yes, she's fraternal. I don't do palms. I, the, I, what I would tell you about your palm is maybe you should wash your hands. I don't try to convince anybody of anything. I don't need to. That's not my job. I just do what I do and if you get something from it, that's great. Keep saying Dave. Oh, nice. Did you have purple tunnel? Um, Who had carpal tunnel? Who had I don't know. I have something. I have problems with my arm okay, right now. Okay, so I want. So. He said Dave and carpal tunnel or on the arm or okay. on the. He's saying Dave. Dave. Like he's trying to freak me out by saying Dave. Well, he's freaking me out by saying Dave. I'm seeing this road and I'm seeing this big balloon. Like you've been building up, building up, and building up, and something is about to happen, and you know it. Like you can feel it. Something either you're. It's a graduation or it's a new job or it's something that is really so weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm stopping, Jody. What is it coming up? Um, I'm starting a nursing job in July, and I just so I just graduated from Yay! my <laughs> master's degree. Yeah. How does it feel to hear Jody kind of hit right on that? Yeah, that's definitely weird. <laughs> I didn't expect that.